Hello bookworms, this month's book of the month is from one of our most favourite and most talented authors to ever feature in our boxes, Vashti Hardy, and the book's called The Griffin Gate. So here's our top tips to make the most of reading this brilliant book at home. Our first top tip this month is all about the pace of the book. You and your child are going to be sucked into the adventure quickly, so prepare for it. I wouldn't wait for bedtime to start reading this one. Get the reading going early and you'll find that you will sail through this book with your child. The pacing is brilliant and it's immediately engaging. And this isn't the usual type of chapter book that's on the shelves. It's exceptional. So get ready to plump up those cushions and settle in. A previous top tip about marshmallows and hot chocolate, it's always good to use here. And the reading is going to whiz by. Enjoy. If I was going to read this book to my class, you'll need to know when to stop at the right time. On the first read, I'd dedicate a little bit more time to it and I'd look to stop at around page 13 where there is a picture of a map room. If you do this, you'll soon see that by stopping at just the right time, you will have your young budding reader desperate to listen for more. You might even want to have a sneaky peek at what happens next yourself. You're in a powerful position. You're peeping, they don't know. Sometimes reading ahead helps, so when you say night to your child, take the book with you and read the next few pages. It's worth it to know when to stop, and with a little bit more practice, you'll spot these moments more naturally anyway. Our final top tip is actually about a discussion point that you can have. Vashti Hardy features the red telephone box in her stories, and I'm sure that right now I could take my children right past the telephone box and they have no idea what it was or what it was used for. Take the opportunity to explain what they were by pointing to it on the front cover. Everyone has a story about one, so be prepared to share yours. Mine involved using one to ring my mum to tell her that I got on the wrong bus and ended up 20 miles in the wrong direction. I was carrying a guitar too, so that was really rock and roll. That's all from us. We hope that you love our book of the month just as much as we do and that you have a great success with reading it with your child. Remember, as always, if you like our videos and you want to access more content, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're new to us, then please do check out our exciting book subscriptions for children on our website at www.letsgoread.co.uk. But for now, we hope that our top tips have given you the inspiration to turn to your child tonight and to say those three magic words. Let's go read. Thanks for watching.